Okay, let's try and power it on. Nintendo Switch, no power, nothing. Guys, who, who's going to guess what the fault is on this one? No power is all I've got. Ammeter is getting inside. 0.10, 0.17. That's good. No image on screen. Could be a bad LCD or just a very dead battery. 0.16, 0.17. Or RCM mode. XAJ400 could be RCM mode. Let me plug this into my computer. If we get a noise, then I reckon it's going to be RCM mode. Nothing on RCM. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart and just have a little bit of an inspection to see if there's anything we can notice. I will try it the other way as well to see if we get anything different on the other side. 0 0.12, 0 0.17. Could just be really dead battery. I'll see if the battery's charging. Could just be a dead battery. I could just check now to be honest. So if I just get my multimeter so you guys can see as well. We're going to voltage mode. Just going to see how dead the battery is. 2.7 volts. So it's dead. I've got another battery. Battery in. New battery that is. What happens? 0 0.36 amps. 0 0.48. Nothing on screen. Still nothing on screen. I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to see if it boots. No, nothing on backlight. Let's see if the voltages is, are going up. Because then we, we know if there's if it's something to do with the actual charging. Do we have power delivery? We do, look, it's going up, you see? So it's charging. M92 wouldn't affect like backlight and stuff coming on, would it? Let's continue to take it apart. I went to a, I went to a family thing recently, right? And I was using the, I used the term close but no cigar. 80% of people were like, what does that mean? All right, let's check. CPU. No beep. Oh, you see, I just went straight in like a band-aid and just ripped it off. CPU seems fine. This is upside down for you, isn't it? P13. P13. This is the cap for P13, right? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Those two are there as well. Yeah. It's P13, right? Yeah, cap's gone. Guys, do we reckon cap or do we reckon P13? Cap or P13? So I remove cap first. Just checking filters quick. All filters are fine. You guys reckon P13? Uh, let's go 4. I'm going to go 460. 460 at... I'm going to go 5. I think. Or maybe 6 out of 8. 5 out of 8. there's quite a few components around it. I'm going to go 5 out of 8. Uh, no, I'll go 6. I'm going to go 6. I'll push the boat out a little bit. Alright. Let's uh, take this bad boy off. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. I think that went well. You can touch up the sides now. Call it hunky dory. Needs a bit more flux. I've got solder on on my uh, on my iron. Short is gone. The short is gone. I repeat, the short is gone. Let's check on the other side where M92 was, and just make sure that the short is gone from up here as well. It was this one on the side. Has the short gone here? Yes, it has. Perfect. We're going to put it back in and uh, and test. We're going to put it back in the shell and test. Okay, so last time I went for the method where I didn't, um, I dropped it on. I'm not going to do that this time. Wish me luck. Here we go. Surface tension. Do the job you're meant to, my guy. Go, 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 go. Come on. Do you want me to give you a little helping hand?
Ow. I need to add some, I don't know, I need to add some more flux. I'm going to go for another reflow. Okay, here we go. You ready? Do we get a display on the screen? 3, 2, 1. Bosh! 0 0.11. 0 0.10. Display on screen. Let's go, man! Oh, now it's on. I said to take it out and take, put it back in. Turn it off. Turn it on. There was no volume. There is now. And get in, guys. You know what there isn't? Parental control. 